Hey there, so last time we took a look at this Aces Zen book with an OLED display that I managed to get on eBay for only $400 refurbished. It's a pretty fantastic deal overall considering the way that the system is actually built is really high quality for the price, but its biggest downside is the fact that it only has 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now if you're into tech news at all, you might have seen a lot of complaints about how Apple still sells systems with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Well the situation's even worse on Windows. Because because 8 gigabytes of RAM is extremely limiting due to the fact that Microsoft really found it necessary that we all need to be running about a billion different processes in the background when we're just trying to watch YouTube videos. Because of that, just having a basic web browser open can end up pretty much using up all of your system RAM because of the fact that Windows is already eating up half of it just sitting there doing nothing. Except it's not really doing nothing, it's just doing things in the background that you really don't want it to be doing. So I thought that the best way to improve the usability of this system is to actually install Linux on it. And I know it becomes such a drag when people want to talk about what Linux distro they're going to use. I know a lot of people really like to distro hop. Me personally, I've kind of been sticking to the same distros overall. I was a Fedora user for a long time, but in all honesty, I'm at this point such a big fan of Nobara Linux. I've really been using that on my main laptop for almost a year now now. So I felt it was appropriate to install Nabara on this system as well. That way I could see if there is actually any difference in terms of the performance between this and my previous system. And of course, installing Nabara on here was actually a huge game changer. See, just having a web browser open and the desktop sitting there doing nothing now ends up utilizing about half the RAM that it was using on Windows. And it comes with the added benefit of the fact that opening a bunch of tabs really doesn't seem to actually increase or memory utilization all that much, at least not in comparison to Windows. Where once I had about 10 tabs open, it really started to fully utilize the RAM, and you'd notice a lot of swapping happening once you tried to load back into any of the tabs. Here doing the same, we really didn't even exceed six gigabytes of RAM utilization. And overall, the experience of actually using the desktop environment is about the same as what you would expect if you were using Windows for the most part. Personally, I use KDE Plasma as my desktop environment environment. I'm not the biggest fan of GNOME. And since I'm still a Windows user due to editing software and because of gaming, switching between KDE and Windows is so much better than switching between GNOME and Windows just due to how drastically different the two environments are. Thankfully, Nabarro does give you the option to choose between the two, but overall, the experience here has been absolutely fantastic. The desktop resolution was fully supported e immediately. I had no issues with any of the drivers for any of the software, or rather the hardware on here. One big downside, though, is that the fingerprint reader does not seem to work. I don't really know how to actually get it up and running to see if I could even get it to work, but in all honesty, it's not that big of a deal. And I think that the added usability of being able to actually run Linux and have the ability to run other software besides just a browser pretty much makes up for the loss of the fingerprint reader, but I can understand that being kind of a problem for some people. Everything else like the Wi-Fi, the speakers, keyboard shortcuts, and software-based brightness controls for both the keyboard and the display are all fully functional here. I pretty much didn't run into any issues from the moment that I installed Nabara on here. So I'm going to be honest, I really am not surprised by the results here because I already know what it's like to use Linux with an 8 gigabyte RAM limitation since that's what my laptop already had. See this HP Pavilion 15 that I kind of just started a lot of my channel with, I've had for a little while now. And since it stopped being the main focus of the channel a while ago, I just kind of installed Nabar Linux 38 on there and I've been using it ever since and I even went back to the default eight gigabytes of RAM that came in here. Now it is in dual channel. It's not just one stick, but it is eight gigabytes of RAM. And Windows was really just going to end up being a problem, which is why I just went with Nabara Linux and I've really just been loving it ever since. I kind of actually use it every single day though, mostly to watch YouTube videos or Twitch streams. I really don't end up doing much of anything else. I might end up Googling some stuff, but really it's mostly a content consumption machine. And I think Linux actually does a really 
really fantastic job for that. It really depends on what you're trying to watch. If you're someone that's trying to watch streaming services, a lot of the times to get the best quality, you need to use their app. And even then, on PCs, they really don't want you to watch anything at higher than 1080p. But if you're someone that self-hosts your own streaming service like Plex or Jellyfin, well, you're able to take full advantage of that. I will mention one thing though, and it's something that I completely forgot to mention in the previous video, but the system does make a lot of noise for no real reason. It really seems to be tuned to be extremely aggressive with its fan curve, where it tends to spin up and just stay on for a long time, even when the temperatures aren't exactly at a range where you'd think that they would be a problem. And again, the way that Windows works, there's always something happening in the background. So anytime the CPU would boost up to do practically anything, it would actually end up causing problems for a good while the fans would just stay on while i was watching a video and that became kind of distracting i would recommend going into the bios and going into the fan controls and just setting it to the silent mode if you're gonna be like me and just using the system for pretty much just media consumption you don't need those fans to ever kick in because you're never going to be doing anything that gets the system hot enough to need it in the silent mode it really doesn't make any noise you're able to enjoy the speakers of the system significantly better because it's not fighting with the actual fans in there and in general it makes it such a far more pleasant system to use but linux pretty much is the saving grace here and for 400 dollars considering that linux is also free and you're not tied to a microsoft account that's going to be harvesting you like cattle i think that this is really one of the best deals you can get on the laptop today and eight gigabytes of ram is really all you need if you're just going to be watching youtube videos watching twitch streams watching kick streams if you're a degenerate any kind of media consumption like that you're going to be able to do on here perfectly fine with the eight gigabytes of ram you could even really do it in windows but windows tends to be very annoying when you have extremely limited amounts of ram like that annoying in the sense that you'll try to open something and it should just open normally but because of the fact that windows had about a bajillion things running in the background eating up ram suddenly you run into a situation where you're left hanging because windows has to clear the ram right to your storage and essentially just make room for whatever it is that you're trying to do because windows likes to just do anything but provide you what you actually want i definitely recommend you try out nabara linux but if you're in general just new and you want to dip your toes into linux and you're really just terrified i'd go with ubuntu it's still by far the most popular linux distro you're gonna have the easiest time finding support for it so i definitely recommend nabara but i'll catch you guys next time